how hard was it for you not to walk into the Bears locker room when you got here? Yeah, I just kept going. Uh, I got the memo a while ago, so. What's it mean to come back to this building and specifically against this team, uh, given your history with it? Yeah, a lot of special memories here. Um, you know, kind of grew up in my pro career here uh, a little bit. Um, it's a fun rink to play in. Uh, you know, it's exciting to be on the other side of a starter, which should be, you know, a great series. Historically, uh, what, is, what do the Hershey Bears mean to the American Hockey League and, and the impact of coming into a town like this, given, given what it has done for the American Hockey League? Well, you know, it's a historic franchise, all the championships, you know, the fan base they've had for such a, such a long time. Um, you know, there was definitely always a, I guess, like a tradition of, of, you know, excellence, a tradition of trying to win every year, being a good team. Um, you know, like every other team in the AHL, you know, they were, they were about development, you know, when I was there. Um, but the idea of winning was always, uh, you know, right there in the forefront of your mind. So uh, a little unique to a lot of AHL teams in, in that regard. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's a special place with a lot, of, a lot of good people working here. It's been a couple months now since you, uh, you've been traded. Uh, what were your emotions when you first learned that you were going to Toronto from here? Um, a lot of confusion, a lot of trying to figure out the logistics of it, where am I going, when, um, where am I playing, who am I playing, that kind of thing. Uh, you kind of go into like a survival mode, you know, as a player, you try and figure out, all right, uh, what time's my flight, what time should I eat, you know, <laughs> what can I eat at the airport kind of thing, and uh, try not to forget anything too important, you know, in the move, and um, you kind of just keep it as cliche as but roll the punches you know you just try to figure out one thing at a time when when you first got traded you went right up to the Leafs what was that experience like for for your game I think it was awesome you know uh, every player in the AHL you know a lot of players in, in the AHL are, are working for that chance you know uh, we're working to improve their game towards you know an NHL standard um, and a lot of times you, you think you're ready and you're ready for the opportunity and all those things and I think for me it was just uh, probably simplify things, just get right in, land, play the game, you know, let the adrenaline uh, carry you through energy-wise and, um, you know, it's certainly something I'll, I'll never for, never forget, remember for a long time. This is very much a rebuilding franchise right now and, and I know you can say that about other teams that struggle recently, but this is really kind of the, the Maple Leafs grand project right now. What's it mean to you to be a part of this team that's really trying to do something special over these next three to five years? Yeah, I mean, that was, um, you know, what management talked about right when we got there, you know, hey, we got a lot of really talented young guys, you know, here with the Leafs, uh, currently playing with the Marlies. Um, you know, and I think I just try to take the responsibility of getting to know these guys that have been here, coming to development camps, playing in development, you know, tournaments and games and different things like that. Um, I assume they play in tournaments. I don't know their structure, but you know, just trying to build those relationships right away. You know, with these guys, a lot of these players have been, you know, drafted together and have come up together. Um, and I just wanted to, you know, blend right in and, and try and add what I could. Knowing this building and the team you're playing tomorrow night, what can we expect? In terms of tempo, right off, right off the hop in the opening period, you've got some talented, um, you know, hockey players on both sides. Uh, the teams haven't seen each other a lot. Um, sometimes you see a little bit of a feeling out process, but uh, you know, hopefully both teams come out with with great energy, jump, and execution, and it leads to some, you know, um, that I know there will be a lot of people here. You know, be exciting, uh, good environment in and, and a, and a playoff environment. That's what you want as a player. You want to. You want to play in a big game, you want both games, to, both teams to be playing well, go best on best, and you want to win.